Hi everybody, welcome. My name is Jordy. We're going to get into a tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. I'm going to pull a couple of different cards in the beginning of the reading, just to set the tone, set the pace, and then we'll uh, work that into the 10 card tarot spread and see how it all comes together. Uh, thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. Uh, okay, let's see what the spirit animals have to say for Pisces. We have electric eel. Bring your ideas to life. Very beautiful. We also have take time out with the brown bear spirit. So yeah, maybe you have to take some time out in order to bring your ideas to life. Maybe it's all about recharging the battery so that your creativity can flow. So that you can feel passionate. While you've been in a down period or a recovery period or preparation period, some of your ideas have been manifesting in the background. And this may come in, t in t towards you as, uh, as quick as a lightning strike, you know? All of a sudden a manifestation appears and you're just like, whoa, how did that happen? So we're pulling some uh, Kipper fortune telling cards and we've got Thief and Marriage. Okay. Interesting. Thief and Marriage. In this thief card, it shows a young child stealing a golden pocket watch from uh, a gentleman. And uh, to me, this is kind of saying like doing what you have to do in order to survive. Next to that card is the marriage card. So that can talk about committed relationships and um Maybe it's been kind of like survival mode for uh, a period of time. And uh, this has challenged your relationships. Okay. Those Kipper cards are always a challenge to read, but it'll come together in the end. Some of the messages I say right now may just be single one-off messages for you but when we get into the full tarot spread we'll see how everything comes together so we have the power card coming out this symbol represents a sack of cola nuts and symbolizes abundance and unity it also symbolizes community agriculture and trade bringing people together I feel like the time for you to feel safe and secure is now. Um, there could be a relationship that promises safety and security or, or a sense of comfort uh, where you don't have to always be in survival mode, you know? Um, you were always, here we have self-reliance underneath the bottom of the deck, which is kind of what I was talking about with that little kid who's a thief, you know? Um, it's someone who had to kind of fight for their survival. Not everybody who's a thief is doing it just for survival purposes. Some people choose to be thieves. But ultimately, we can't really judge somebody why they're thieving. It's a state of lack. never really feeling fulfilled because when do you stop do you know can you stop so there's going to be a challenge here to stop the 
patterns and conditions that are at play within your mind when it comes to how you deal with emotions, how you deal with relationships. And the power that comes from unity. So we have the Seven of Cups reversed. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Moon reversed. Just kind of getting this quiet moment in your mind that's happening right now, Pisces, where you've kind of stopped imagining the worst and your fears are kind of settling down. And even though you're coming from a space where you felt like abandoned or a, la a sense of lack or basically just not in a position that you wanted to be in, there's like a quiet that's kind of coming over you now because you may be realizing that you don't have to stay in that state any longer. It's like the fears and illusions are no longer there. And they may have been valid fears. There may have been a lot of confusing elements to your situation. We have judgment. We have the Princess of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so in the past with the Princess of Pentacles, that talks about um, perhaps having to redo a karmic lesson over and over again with the Judgment card here. And... Uh, Again, I think that this is something that is coming, that's settling down. You're finding your center, you're finding your core. Maybe you're finding something that you really value about yourself or about a situation or a person. In the future is the Two of Wands. So you have a decision to make when it comes to doing the right thing for you. Because there might be options and decisions right now. And there might be some really good ones out there fresh for you to take, you know, but maybe you've taken things in the past when they weren't good for you. Maybe you've um, been grabbing on to opportunities or relationships or situations because you felt like you were lacking in some area. Now is the time to make a decision from a different space of frame of mind. Do you want this? Is it fulfilling? Are you doing something because it's easy or you can kind of depend on a certain mode of thinking? not going to come together if you're if you're not sold on the outcome what is the outcome longevity or the ace of pentacles for a long time you've been in hermit mode, Pisces, and I do feel like there's an opportunity here to kind of break that cycle, to walk through a new door, to leave that hermit mode in the past.
and to come into unity, union, with opportunities and people and situations that are full of uh, full of potential. You've had these ideas, you've you've thought about these things, but you never really uh, approached them with the right mindset until now. That's different now. You're no longer getting in your own way. Doesn't mean you have to make the right decision here, but uh, I think this awareness that you have won't go anywhere. So even if you don't make a decision to commit to something now, you'll any kind of situation that comes your way moving forward, um, maybe there's more self-worth, maybe there's more uh, value. Like maybe it's just like you found your core and something has like sparked that within you and revived that within you. All right, that's what I've got for your reading, Pisces. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon.